Uh, well, um, I'm a baby boomer. I was born just after the war. Uh, we've had probably, we've probably uh, had the longest period of peace and prosperity uh, globally, uh, I would say, uh, from that time. I've put a little bit of modest money away so I can hand something down to my family when I pass on, largely because I've never spent more money than I've earned, and I've been prudent, and I've worked moderately hard. Now, it always seems to me as a complete surprise to politicians how countries get in debt. Let me explain, because I don't think you really understand it. It's because politicians consistently spend more money than they raise in taxation, more money than they can possibly raise in taxation, most of which, in point of fact, they actually waste. The reason we're talking about countries which are broke, and they are broke, is because they're ridiculous, ineffective, ignorant politicians consistently spend more money than they can raise, and then they borrow and they borrow, and worse, they then print money because politicians and their central banks have a machine which prints money. You do that as a private citizen, and it's a criminal offence. You would go to prison for doing that, and politicians and their central banks do it all the time. Let me explain to you that these countries are broke, and they're broke because of their own stupid leadership and politicians, and it's immoral, immoral to ask ordinary taxpayers of any country to pick up the tab for failed politicians and failed banks. They are defaulted, they're broke, for God's sake let's all of us admit it.